Welcome to Flip Classroom. Today we're going to look at how to create a portfolio through Canvas. I'm going to be using the tutorial produced by Canvas and adding some parts to it. So let's take a look. In this video, you will learn how to create and manage ePortfolios in Canvas. An ePortfolio is a place where you can compile and showcase work from a course or academic program. To get started, click the account link in Global Navigation, then click the ePortfolios link. To create a new ePortfolio, click the Create an ePortfolio button, then give it a name. I suggest that you name your portfolio English 300 Summer 2019 and then add your last name. Give it a name. To make your portfolio public, check the Make Public checkbox. Making a portfolio public will allow others that have the URL to view your portfolio's content. To save your new portfolio, click the Make ePortfolio button. Once an ePortfolio is created, you can use the Getting Started wizard to walk you through its organization. You first need to create sections in your portfolio. Sections act as folders in which your work is organized. Each section can include multiple pages or items. To add a new section to your portfolio, click the Organize Sections link. Then click the Add Section link. You are going to create five sections. The first one's named SA1, SA2, SA3, SA4, and Additional Work. Add a section name and press the return or enter key to save. You can also click the settings icon next to any section name to rename, delete, or move a section. When finished, click the Done Editing button. To add a page, click the Organize Manage Pages link in the sidebar. Then click the Add Another Page link. Give the page a title, then click the Done Editing button. To add content to a page, click on the Page link. Then click the Edit This Page button. Give your page a title. You can add content in the Rich Content Editor, or use the sidebar links to add different types of content. You can add rich text content sections, HTML embedded content, course submissions, and file and image uploads. Select a content option, and add your content in the provided field. To remove a content section from the page, click the Delete icon. Then click the OK button to confirm deletion. To preview your page, click the Preview button. To save, click the Save Page button. To manage a page, click the Organize Manage Pages link. Click the Settings icon to rename, delete, or move the page. When finished, Click the Done Editing button. To return to your Portfolio Dashboard, click the Back to Portfolio Dashboard link. The Recent Submissions section displays a list of your recent assignments. You can quickly add a recent assignment submission to your portfolio by clicking on the name of the assignment. Select the section in which to add the submission as a page. Then add a page title. When done, click the Add Page button. Let me review this crucial step. When you look under Recent Submissions, that is where you will see your outline for Essay 1, your peer review for Essay 1, your professor evaluation version of Essay 1, and your final draft. All of your assignments that you have uploaded to Canvas will be found here, and this is where you select them to add them to your ePortfolio. From your portfolio dashboard, you can preview, share, download, and delete your portfolio. To preview your ePortfolio, click the Go to the Actual ePortfolio link. If your portfolio is private, you can give others access to your portfolio by copying the shareable link. And you would copy and paste that link, and you would send it to me, so everyone who has this link is able to see all the documents in your ePortfolio. Once again, if you have any questions, give the Canvas Help Desk a call, and I look forward to reading your portfolios that will have all your work from this semester in it. Thank you for joining me today in Flipped Classroom.